Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 10.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York. It is Monday, 26th day of June, 2017, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Tremendous sell-off in the gold market with a single order uh, being the net root or cause of the sell-off last night when the London markets opened within about the first couple of minutes of trading in London, in fact. Gold traded to a low last night of about 1236.50 under tremendous pressure. It is currently trading down just under $12 on the day with a slight recovery at 1244.50. And of course, the high was at about 1259. Very interesting action. We'll cover this in detail as we go over our current trade. Silver also trading lower, but not to the degree that we saw. In gold, it was trading not so much in unison, but it was effectively trading under the influence of gold, trading under pressure. Silver down about 12 cents at 1653. So traders, I do wanna to start today's show by looking at a very, very short-term chart. This, of course, gold futures as it trades overseas. Each candle represents three minutes in time. What we can clearly see from this chart is that the activity leading up until the open in London, and you can see where the market opened. This is 2200, of course, Honolulu time, which represents or corresponds to uh, the opening bell in London, nine o'clock in the morning in London. We can see that immediately as that market opened, we had within minutes, this market plunged from about what this open here above 1254 to trade to a low of just above 1236. Now we currently have a long position and we also have our stops below 1235 so they were not hit. We can also see that as this market came down within minutes we saw a pretty dramatic recovery. It then slid to a little bit lower pricing uh, trading to roughly roughly about the 1240 area before trading once again in this very, very tight and highly compressed range as we moved into New York and traders and analysts attempted to really decipher the activity that occurred last night in London. Traders, it's quite obvious that last night's trading activity definitely moved the needle. When we look at our weekly chart, and that's the next chart that I've pulled up, each candlestick represents a week, we can see that last week we had a pretty dramatic recovery as gold prices came off of these lows to close in essence unchanged, slightly higher on the day. And I had really hoped for a solid open on Sunday carrying over into New York and to see this market begin to track higher. That obviously wasn't to be the case. And we can really see the activity uh, best put when we look at our daily chart. I've just gone ahead and pulled up a daily chart. You can see that the market has closed under dramatic pressure, although well off of uh, the lows, intraday lows achieved last night in trading. We are back above the 200-day moving average. We are certainly below the 50-day moving average and also below the 61% retracement. However, this is an unusual circumstance in that the basic sell-off wasn't predicated by any new fundamental news that comes into the market. And so that really beckons the following question and that is whether or not we will see prices recover and if in fact we will see some bullish sentiment re-enter the market or if this is the beginning of a further erosion of gold pricing and to be honest with you we'll have to see how that unfolds this took many traders including myself by surprise as we watch the market sell off dramatically without any rhyme or reason for that sell off that occurred last night. So traders, we will just have to see if this market recovers over time or if we are in store for further erosion in gold pricing. In other markets that we follow, dollar is trading higher, but nominally so. It has had an effect on gold prices and has provided some headwinds, adding to the sell-off that we have seen today, but only with a very, very small percentage. Mixed bag 
in terms of the U.S. equities markets with the Dow Jones Industrial Average showing a, showing a positive print on the day, but slightly positive, up about 15 points at 21,409. Standard & Poor's also trading higher today at 2439. And the NASDAQ closing lower on the day by about a third of a percent. So traders, as far as other markets that we follow, all of them pale in comparison to the utter carnage that we saw last night in the gold pits. The dollar, which was slightly stronger today, up almost two-tenths of a percent, absolutely added a few dollars worth of loss uh, to the overall drawdown. But when we look at our weekly chart or even our daily chart, what we can see is we continue to have this market track in a narrowly defined range with 96 on the dollar index providing technical support and 97.75 providing a technical resistance area. As I said on Friday, we need to see it either break below or above before I believe we'll see a dramatic move in the dollar. And as far as US equities go, as I said, the uh, S&P 500, along with the Dow Jones Industrial Average, did close fractionally higher on the day. NASDAQ did close off by about a third of a percent. And what we're seeing again, and we are looking at a weekly chart, is real consolidation at these new record highs. And traders, lastly, do want to take a look at crude oil. Crude oil up about a percent, which is not a tremendous move for that market. And that following really, what, five weeks of dramatic decline as this market topped out at about $52 per barrel and broke through a critical price area, a 38% retracement at $44 and a half yesterday, currently at $43.41. Even with this market tracking higher today, my sense is it should continue to track under pressure. I am now looking for oil to retreat to about $41 per barrel. Incredible activity last night in the gold market. As I watched the market trade throughout the day as it opened up in Australia, which occurs at noon in Honolulu, Hawaii, not that much going on, up a dollar up two dollars at one point trading nominally between a cup plus or minus a couple of dollars that was until london opened and as i said within the first minute of london trading we saw this market absolutely plunge and then for the rest of the night into the morning trading and into new york uh, really attempting to recover uh, from that really dramatic sell-off that occurred my recommendation is obviously to maintain our current long position it is under pressure, there is no doubt about that, but our stops have remained intact. Keep your stops below 1235 and maintain your current long position. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.